In this video, I will take you through the processing of customer and supplier adjustments, which are sometimes referred to as customer journals or supplier journals. This is a transaction between a customer or a supplier and a normal account in Sage 1. I will also take you through the processing of journal entries under the accountants area. This would be a transaction between two normal accounts in Sage 1. Customer and supplier adjustments work in the same way. I'll use the example of a customer adjustment to illustrate how to capture these transactions in Sage 1. A customer adjustment or customer journal is used to increase or decrease a customer's balance, with the corresponding entry going to a normal account. You can make use of these customer adjustments for a number of reasons. You can import sales from another system using the import on the quick entry grid. You can capture additional charges such as interest payable or receivable, or any other reason to increase or decrease the customer's balance. To process a customer adjustment, you have two options. The normal entry screen to capture one adjustment for one customer, or alternatively the quick entry grid to capture multiple adjustments at once. How you process an adjustment is to select how you want to affect the customer, either an increase or a decrease to their outstanding balance. You will select which customer to affect, and then you will select the account in Sage 1 which needs to be affected. In our example, interest received because we are accounting for interest on this customer's account. We also have the import function if you would like to import customer's transactions, either from another sales system or a previous accounting system. We have included all the guidance you need in the help pop-up How do I set up a CSV file? Journal entries are found under the accountants area. These transactions allow you to affect two normal accounts in Sage 1. You may require this for entries such as depreciation or raising an expense accrual. To process a journal, you simply need to select the account that is being debited, specify the amount to post, and in this case, the buy affecting account, which will be the one being credited. This will post the related entries into these two accounts. You're also able to import your journal entries into Sage 1 using the import function. To view previous journal entries, you need to select the checkbox on screen and refresh the date range. That's all you need to know regarding customer, supplier and normal journal entries.